Hello, welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Larissa and today I'm going to react to a new movie request. This one was also requested through my Patreon and the movie is called The Light Horse Man. Honestly, the person who sent it to me gave me like a full-on explanation about this movie so I'd understand it better, which was really nice. But honestly, it was so much and I read it and I think I kind of got it straight in my head, but I don't feel like I have the power to explain it now. So I think I'm just gonna watch it um, with like that information in my head and um, yeah, see what I think about it. So before I start, I wanna tell you that if you also want me to react to a movie, you can check out my Patreon. The link is in the description. You can choose different tiers there uh, for me to react to different stuff or just early access or uncut reactions. So you can also find my full reaction to this movie on there. And yeah, with that said, let's just watch it. <laughs> Are they like hunting for the wild horses? I think so. Ha! Huh. Guess they got them. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure the horses didn't want that, but sure. It seemed to me like they were just vibing. What about that dude again to the lighthouse? Get up there! I guess it works, the text, I mean. Oh, damn. I guess he was really determined to join them. Oh. There's little joy in the defeat of an unworthy opponent. They are not cavalry, Captain. They are Australian light horse, mounted infantry. Wait till the light horse dismount and all then open fire. You have so much to learn about war in the desert, you and General Murray both. The horses are like, what the fuck am I doing here? Let me go back. It feels like they're so vulnerable, just out there, no protection around them at all, just the desert. Easy, easy, teacher. Listen. Can't hear anything. That's right. Oh. Oh. I feel like that's not very encouraging. So if I understand it correctly, they've been there for almost three years now, or am I misunderstanding this? I really need to fix my subtitles. Regiment will be moving out in 10 minutes. I think it are really cool shots, you know, with all the horses everywhere and just lined up. I like that. This is it, mate. Real bloody thing. Show those turks a thing or two, eh? Oh, there's a guy. Oh, he's way faster. Ooh. Now you're the one being chased. Okay, but at least he has backup. Got them. Uh. Give a saddle off, Ted. Is the horse hurt? No, I hate it. I knew, like, the moment I knew there was gonna be horses in this movie and it's like a war movie, I knew the horses were gonna be hurt. That leg looks bad, Frank. The horse tear. Aww. I'll have to put him down. <laughs> Why do they always kill horses? Hmm. Poor boy. Look at him, such a good boy. Well, Not liking this. This is uh, David Corporal Tesbull. Dave, to the bit. Was he the guy from the beginning? Dad's got a dairy farm. I makes all the difference. Damn, fast boy. He is 
doing pretty well for someone who is just new. And why did I call you Scotty? It was a Myers. Makes sense, I guess. Well, you don't expect fancy food in the army. Well, this is fancy food, son. And with the boy on the billy, this is real fancy. Why yeah, I you think you can be happy with food like that. In the war. <laughs> Me, two children. Joyce. Uh, to write, somebody's got to tell you. Uh, Joyce married a bloke from Warwickville about six months ago. Shifted to Geelong, no one's heard a word since. Damn. Oh well. Better off without her, eh? Only thing I'll put it on is she's have to watch you. You're a free man. <laughs> I mean, look at it from the positive side, I guess. Damn, that's a tough breakup. Through a letter, and I, I think she didn't even write it herself, right? Someone just told him she married someone else. Damn. What do we do? What we're bloody tall. There they go again. I just keep being amazed about how many horses there are. And then they send them back. Funny. Oh god. Is he having trouble with that? Yeah, I guess some people are just not made to kill. I mean, on the board he was just shooting and shooting and hit like in the middle every time and then in the battlefield. I mean, it was his first time in the battlefield, I guess, so I don't know. Just had some bad news. Frank died in Carpo yesterday. What? Jesus, what happened? They had to take the leg off, that uh, a mistake, wasn't it? And they make mistakes all the time. I think they know when someone dies. Sword in his eyes. You're talking bullshit! What are you cleaning a bloody rifle for? Now, well, someone is in denial. Gutless little wonder. What did he do? <laughs> Cute horses. It's funny because I'm every time like I'm like I'm not a horse person. Also because I'm like really allergic to horses, so I don't really have anything with them. But then every time I see horses in a movie or TV show, I'm like, oh, they're so cute. That does not seem good. Fucking hell. Oh no. Oh no. Get that thing down. Okay, hell yeah. Shouldn't they like move now? Because they know where they are? I know, I feel like they're pretty easy to find though. Like if they have planes, it's very easy to spot a camp, I guess. You're not. Oh. She's like, the fuck? There's so many people out there and you're only caring about the horses? I get it though. <laughs> Cute horses. I'm gonna keep, keep saying that. I the tag in my sights. And I didn't shoot. I keep telling myself it's just because I didn't see any need. I didn't want to shoot a man in the back. Okay, fair, I guess. I worry that I'm just making excuses. I won't be able to kill. Yeah, I think it's more that because I mean they are the enemy and they would have done the same. I mean, I get shooting someone in the back feels different than actually like fighting the guy, but... Courage. I don't even have the nerve to ask you out. She would. Really? I mean, wasn't that obvious? <laughs> Marvelous. I'm glad there's finally a woman in the movie. I always get kind of bored when there's only men. But I gotta say, he's a, an interesting character. Does he still have the bandage though? I oh, know, I don't think so. Like underneath the hat. Get back as soon as I can. Um, maybe don't, because then you have to get wounded again. Uh, 
Are these good or bad people? I fear bad. There's a British officer with him. Oh. Okay, suspicious. He's going his way. Okay, at least it's they just him that him was, then. But quick, I wonder what's going on. If he makes one suspicious move, you shoot him, right? Yes, sir. If he can. Major. Friends of yours, friends of ours. I didn't expect to find a British officer alone in this sector. Well, I couldn't say the same, sir. I'm not quite alone. <laughs> I would feel a good deal happier if that man wouldn't point that bloody thing at me. I wonder if he would have really done it if he had to. And brand new papers made out to a major. Mind it, son? I had a fucking fly on his face. It's really annoying me. Who is the new commander in chief? General Sir Edmund Allen. I feel like they put way too much effort in those cams. Look at all the white stones next to the pads. Damn. He's still not shooting. I guess this man is really not made for war. Honestly, when they're practicing at all, then it's all fine when they're training. And then in the battlefield, it's just... It's like he freezes or something. Okay, that did feel wrong, but I mean, it is still the enemy. Maybe he can put people out of their misery? Dude! Uh. Oh, okay. Where the fuck did he come from? Oh, maybe they want him for information or something. Looks like a pretty chill beach day if you were in that war. Not even on the beach? <coughs> what are you gonna say about shorts now? Damn, they're all naked. Okay. I don't know, it feels weird because they're sitting on a horse. Oh my god, they're swimming with the horses. <laughs> Do horses like swimming? I don't know. I guess. This is how you can see I really don't know anything about horses. That kid's a weak bloody link in the section. He's a nice kid. He's got guts all that. He's supposed to be a soldier. He's got to be able to kill a man. If he can't too, bloody bad. Piss off, Dave. I guess, yeah, but on the other hand, it's not like he's stopping them from doing... It's not like he's holding them back, you know what I mean? But I mean, what are you doing there? Why are you gonna, like, risk your life while you're not gonna do anything? Yeah, don't let anybody down. It's just... You're not cut out to be a soldier. I don't believe that I could kill. Nobody expects you to, sir. I'm in the thick of battle doing a vital job that takes a lot of guts. If you like the idea, I could talk to Major Lawson. Okay. Look after yourself, Boyle. I mean, I think this is better for him. Somebody practically saved his life. Yeah. I suppose so. I want the Turks to think we're going to attack Gaza again. The Marines will certainly documents to fall in the hands of the Turks. A decoy designed to draw the attention away from an attack on Gaza. That much is easy. Hmm. So this is why he was with them? He's like kind of tricking them. I, I believe that was the, the British guy, right? Oh, he's back there. I was really wondering where he was going to go now and if we were still going to see him because I feel like he was kind of the main character up to now. But Do that's really like nice. This? Oh, he's a medic now. But you still think you failed. I wonder what my family will think, my friends back home. Would you write your name for me? I don't understand, sir. No, of course you do. What? It's very random. Thank you very much. Was this some way of flirting? Strange man. <laughs> yeah. If you ask me, they're all a bit bloody weird. <laughs> You'll talk like a light horseman. Well, I am a light horseman. And I also feel like there's yeah, nothing to be ashamed of because you're sir, still like I'm there. Sure. You're still... Helping in that war. What other people say or even think doesn't matter. Yeah. I have wonderful news. No. You write the letter. Imagine that you just had a baby. And that you were writing to the farm. Uh, I can't. I can. I know that you can. <laughs> Fuck, just do it yourself. He might never see his child. 
Feels kind of weird to let her do that for you. I'm getting stronger every day, and doctor says the baby couldn't be better. For I'll who? Send you a telegram. Is this? Baby sends a kiss to daddy. Okay, she's crying. Charlie. Still weird. I don't like him. He's so creepy. I'll just rest my horse here for a moment, and then we'll turn back. Hmm? Okay. Why in there? So I don't trust him. He seems creepy. The way he, just his face, the way he constantly smiles, it's so. Ugh. Give the horse a sandwich too. Horse is like, give me sandwich. Uh, what the fuck? What is he doing? See, something creepy. He wants this, doesn't he? He's working with them. The way they're always carrying the little flags, like, people are only gonna see you better. Oh my god. See, this was his plan all along. Spaders make it clear. Two brigades make a limited attack on us here in Beshiva, divert attention from the major offensive against us. I shall plant explosives in all the wells, ammunition dumps, and railway installations. How will we carry enough water? The answer's simple, gentlemen, we won't. Of course, every man has his water bottle, one quart. There'll be nothing for the horses until we capture the wells of Beersheba. If we fail to take Beersheba... Then you're all gonna die from thirst. We can't fail. Good luck, Scotty. Oh, and you have to wish an Irishman good luck. It comes natural. Good luck yourself. Why is he back there? Oh yeah, of course he's the medic now, yeah. For some reason at first when they sent him away, my, my first thought was that he would like go to another regiment or something where they did other things. I don't know what I thought, but this makes way more sense to me. Are they ready for big battle now? At first I really thought this was like a dream because you saw him sleeping and then the like bluish image and then I was like, would this movie do something like that? <laughs> no. It's just showing their really long journey. Damn. I love the shots. It's so beautiful. How many cavalry? Are you certain of that? Vision of cavalry on the eastern flank? Men and horses in constant movement making dust. Cavalry are involved in the attack. Ah, oh, they brought it! Now it's up to Shuba. The infantry are gaining control. Oh, that was in the bag, of course. That's why he left it. I was like really, really, really distrusting him at that point, but now I realize that was actually the plan. But also, he was so secretive about it um, to the other guy, so maybe they're just not allowed to know because they're not like in charge or anything. I don't know. I gotta say, the clothes look really warm for the environment then. Poor horsies, they're thirsty, thirsty horsey. Give him some. No. <laughs> Even the other horses are like, what about me? That's a lot of water wasting. I hope they all do it. Just give him a little bit. Fifty thousand men. I am holding the Ashiba with four thousand. The sun sets in one hour, by which time some of our horses will have been without water for 48 hours. Great, Governor. I got it fine, I don't mind. Hey, Frank, what's going on? We've got a charge for Shiva, mate. They're Australian light horse. My <laughs> Australian light horse are facing on eastern defenses. They seem to be the point to charge. So insane. Just the idea that the horses haven't had water in quite a while now. Like, doesn't that make them weaker or something? Fast. I'm just kind of wondering how they shot all of this because it's really cool. Especially the really fast shots. They must have been in a really fast car. 
I mean, cars are faster than horses, so not that fast, but you get what I mean. Uh, oh no! Silly bloody bombs, I guess. Sure. <sighs> Let's fucking go. Oh. What is he going to do? Is he going to fight with them anyway? He mad now? Kill his buddies? Does he even have a weapon? How do the like bombs and the bullets not scare the horses? Like wouldn't they just turn around and run away? I guess they're trained in some way, but still. I mean they see all their bodies dying, so if I was a horse I'd be like, bitch I'm out. Ooh. <laughs> just over them. Brutal! Get them! It looks so cool! Oh! It's going so fucking fast! Blow up the wells! The demolition officer is here, sir! Blow up everything, you idiot! I just want the workers to get water, to be honest! Fuck! Come on, dude, you can do it. They shot your fucking friends. Oh, when they thought they won. Uh. Fuck, no. Oh, I guess some horses are finally drinking something. Oh! Oh! Get them! Shoot! Do it! If you... Dude! Dude! Okay, okay. Really thought he was still gonna do it. Nice. Noise. Ah. <laughs> yeah, not bad. Pretty bad. Yeah, where is he? Because he should be there somewhere, right? Huh. <laughs> That's very random. I guess he was to be trusted after all. It's just he had a really creepy smile that made me distrust him. <laughs> it's always like the real stories after they make me the most emotional of the entire movie. Always. Oh, that's very good to know because I was honestly wondering about that. Okay, that was nice. Yeah, especially the ending. Okay, first of all, about the horses. Like, I know that um, especially um, like years back when they were making movies, a lot of time horses would get hurt while filming and it was all... Yeah, it was just kind of normal. Like, even I was told in film class that in the first Ben-Hur movie that, like, a lot of horses were injured and died. And, I mean, nothing was done about that. It just happened, you know. And then I'm like, 
Okay, then it's not worth this fucking movie. But I'm really glad they put the disclaimer in the end. Um, that, that gives me a bit of rest because I was really wondering about that because I knew it about other movies. And I mean, this movie is from 87, so I mean a little less old than Ben-Hur, but still older. So yeah, you get my worry. <laughs> but honestly, I gotta say, um, for me, like war movies and shows, it's like... They're really interesting to me, but I don't know a lot about it. So I always have a feel like when I do reactions to that, I kind of had the same with Band of Brothers. Of course, I have like um, things to say about what I see. But for me, it's mostly just like what I see in the moment. And for the rest, it's just kind of learning, like getting educated about the history back then. So that's why I feel like I don't have like a lot of deep things to say. You get what I mean? And I gotta say, I like the storyline of... Dave a lot. Also because in the beginning it was kind of cute how he saw like the horses in the train and he saw the text on it and he was like oh shit maybe I should do that and then he was like really excited about it and it was interesting like to see the inner struggle of him not being able to kill on the battlefield um, and then becoming a medic eventually getting together with the nurse. Yeah it was like a really interesting storyline to see and to me I think that was the most interesting one I gotta say, I think he was kind of the main character though, so I think they made it the most interesting. And for the rest, I feel like some parts were a little long, where I'm like, okay, I might have been a little bored at some parts. But honestly, mostly if there was kind of a boring part, then it was like, mostly it was followed by some really cool shots where they were going to a battle or just with all the horses. I think that was like my favorite thing about this movie, all the really cool shots about the horses. That was like pure art. Like I said before, I'm not even a horse person or anything, but I gotta say horses are beautiful creatures. And especially when you see these shots like... Uh, also at the sunset or like with the moon and then all these horses and especially the shots where you get like the front um, paws of the horses or like the horse feet I don't know how you call that but you see them all running at the same time and just the sound it's so powerful to me I really like that so yeah like I said before maybe if I didn't say a lot during the movie it's mostly just because I don't know a lot about it and I'm just trying to learn stuff uh, but I still hope you all like my reaction and yeah, it was an interesting movie. Kind of the same with the previous movie reaction I did. Like, it's an interesting movie, but like not a movie I would watch out of myself. Because it's not really like my kind of subject. But like once I'm watching it, I'm like, okay, yeah, this is cool. So yeah, I think that was my reaction. Like I said, if you want to see my full reaction to this movie, check out my Patreon. The link is in the description. And um, let me know what you thought of my reaction. And did you like it? Then please leave a like, subscribe. And then I hope to see you next time. Bye.